Hey, welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's just hang out. Let's be friends. Let's just shoot the breeze. Let's just kill some time together. Uh, cringy social media. You got campaigns. it. You remembered it. I remembered. I remembered. Now let's do that. Let's but talk first, about cringy music, 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 music me, social media me, campaigns. You know, let's book it down now. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to go into industrial, but then I just let the music take me where my body what wanted to go. Song? What was that? That was that was that sucked. That Born sucked. Legendary. Born legendary. Yeah. It's just the mix. The mix. Sounded like corn legendary. Really <laughs> it's like I mean, they need they need to remaster that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Link's got some notes on the mix. No, the mix is off. You know, notes on the mix. Okay, you might be asking yourselves, why are we playing this game? What does this have to do with the uh, main episode today? Are you asking yourselves that? Well, you know what? I never knew they ever did. Here's what. Here, here, here's my theory, Stevie, because I use. I realize there is usually a tie between the two. Or is a, a link. tie between the two? I bet you Lunchables had a cringy social media campaign. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Actually, they currently about. do. Hmm. See, see, just because I'm not wearing a sling, you think you can just, you can just touch my shoulder? But I'm not. It's not hard. It's not. It's not I'm, fully healed. I'm letting up. I'm making it seem like, whoosh, making it seem like it's hard. But it's just. It's not really. It's the boom. The cumulative nature of that is the reason why my collarbone broke. Your collarbone. <laughs> my collarbone broke. Uh, uh, isn't it great when you have a friend who doesn't listen, only listens to you to see how you're mispronouncing something, but not the point of what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the best kind Speaking of friend Speaking of to friends have. that listen to you. Ew. No. Um, you're right, Rhett. Lunchables does have a campaign going on right now uh, that's a fail. It's uh, a... <laughs> they, they've they asked kids to create and submit their own Lunchables art under the hashtag Art of Lunchables, and they have fun blueprints that the kids can follow, which sounds oh. like a great idea in theory, but as of today, there a is not fire a... Hydrant? Single submission on the hashtag on Instagram, um, and the call to action was posted all the way back in December. Uh, and so then we went to their website and dug a little bit deeper, and they have a gallery of art allegedly submitted by kids and parents from handles that are fake. And here's one piece of art they posted that was supposedly built by someone with the handle at Karen. <laughs> And um, okay. on the right, that's uh, their... Of all the names. Yeah. That's their blueprint on the right. And then that's fire the hydrant. submission Hold on. on the left. They're trying to make it seem like Karen made that blueprint? <laughs> no, no. The no, Karen, Karen submitted the... the thing on the left. Oh, got it. Yeah. Um, but, of course, this is like just the tip of the bad campaign iceberg. So you're going to be playing a game wow. where I'm going to present you with a, a a failed campaign, and then you're going to have to guess if uh, if I'm lying or not. Okay. Right. UK Burger King tweeted, women belong in the kitchen in a 2017, uh, in 2017 as part of an International Women's Day campaign. Burger King? UK Burger King. Why would they say why would they say women belong in the kitchen? You think this is real? Um Well, it definitely would get people's attention. I'm listening. How would it not backfire? To say women belong in the kitchen, but everyone else belongs at Burger King? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, yes, I, I can't. women cannot come to Burger King. But why? Why would a fast food place in? It? Maybe it's a twist. Like women belong in the kitchen. Nope. Are you saying yes or no? I'm saying there's no way. Okay. I can't make sense. If you're of it. locked in, I know about this one. Now I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure it was Burger King, but I do remember this happening and backfiring. And I think the point that they were trying to make and I don't know how this got past committee, so to speak, was that women should be like chefs too or something. But it was like, but it was completely construed as 
women should just be at home and in the in the kitchen, which is obviously women what you sh- think. So what are you saying? Women should work at Burger King as a I chef? I don't know why Burger King would, would make that point. Maybe but. Stevie knows. You're absolutely correct. That's exactly what it was. It was um it was meant to be a tease for a campaign that brought awareness to gender disparity amongst chefs, and it was followed up with a second tweet clarifying, but uh, that that got buried. Yeah, because it says if they want to, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Yet only twenty percent of chefs are women. So, so there was two hundred and eighty-eight thousand likes on the first tweet. Likes. Well, so and the second one has sixty-two thousand likes. So, I think this. I mean, the person who did this, who 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 came up with this idea, knew that that statement would be controversial, and thought that they could take that controversy and spin it into this point. But that's probably not a great strategy. What do you think the if if you two were to reenact that marketing meeting? Um, yeah, like what what went down? Oh. Uh, all right, guys. Hey, wait, hold on. Sorry, it's in the UK. It's the UK. <laughs> All right, guys. Not much different. Since it's just a bunch of us blimey blokes here in this yeah. conference room. You, you got any ideas? My idea is women belong in the kitchen. Oh, as a tweet. As a tweet. As a tweet. And then there's other tweets underneath. I it. love it. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No. Anyone object? Any men in here object? <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> Tweet it. That's pretty much how it What's went the down. Yeah. What's the two factor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 the guy in the room actually was Australian who came up with the idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, right. That's uh-huh. how it worked. Yeah, yeah. Um, the German arm of Heinz ketchup put a QR hold code. Hold on, hold on. Can you, st- can you stop there? The German arm of Heinz ketchup doesn't have any arms. It's like what? I am. The, there's I am a, and it's German. A German ketchup arm right now. There's a German ketchup arm coming out of a Heinz. The German yes. arm of Heinz. Yes, ketchup. I believe the Heinz that is in Germany uh, put a QR code on the back of their bottles that was supposed to link to their reward site. But they let the domain expire, and someone else purchased the domain and linked it to a porn site. Of course that happened. Of course Uh, that happened. If that didn't happen with the German arm of Heinz, it has happened with somebody, so I'm saying yes. And let me tell you, if you've never looked at German arm porn. Yeah, well, specifically ketchup arm porn. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, You're missing out. I did like that as a URL, German German arm of Heinz, and it's and it's a porn site. It's fake. No, no it's, it's real. real. Not well, that URL. Well, I, I don't it. know what the URL is. You <laughs> click on the URL. Let's see the site. <laughs> Got to prove it. Emmy, you need to go home. <laughs> Pull it up. No, she's not. She's not still. Not, you can't say that she's still here. Okay, Cash App was accused of being ex, expo, exploitative. Mm-hmm. Yep, I never know how to say that either. After they, I never launched. know how to Isn't do it. Is there a cooler way of saying it? Exploitative. 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 That's not cooler. Exploitative. That's cooler. Emphasis on the Tate. <laughs> <laughs> After they launched a social media giveaway promising a hundred dollars to a hundred different users, in order to win the cash prize, Cash App users had to share their saddest financial hardship story with the hashtag "I hate being poor." Yikes. I hate being poor. Uh, I just, I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to go all, now the first part, the like financial hardship thing, because that is sort of a, that's kind of a trend on Twitter now is to like for somebody to tweet, I'm going through this thing and then people start giving to like their GoFundMe or whatever. Oh really? So I think that maybe Cash App is like, oh let's tap into that Essence, but the poor thing, I just can't. I'm not, I just don't think they would have done that. The poor thing, that the poor thing, the poor thing, that poor thing. Okay, Link, you're locked in too. I'm locked in. It's fake, but it kind of seems real, but it's fake. Well, no, we both thought it was fake. <laughs> you both thought so, it was fake. I mean, there's parts I mean, of it that seem real. <laughs> yeah. It was well written. Uh, 
IHOP face backlash after Twitter They'll do anything, joke. yes. <laughs> yeah, what a, IHOP will do anything. About pancakes intended to draw a cheeky comparison to women. Oh, here we go again. Reading flat but has a great personality with a picture of some pancakes. Um, um, wow. Is this UK? Have you... Yeah. the UK I have. Same, same, same UK boring. arm. Uh, <laughs> UK arm, yeah. Um, is a German arm and a UK arm of, of Heinz. Yeah, yeah. Well, because ketchup tastes different in every country. It's like Coke, because everybody ta- everybody's tongues are different. Yeah, for reals? Yeah, for reals, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, can't, you can't give American ketchup to Germans. They'll be like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Spilt mit Puma. Yeah, I spit it out. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, they spit something out? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this all, almost sounds like a French person spitting things out. It's one yeah. of the things that you wouldn't know about Germans. Yeah. They spit things they spit out. Spit things French. out like French. <laughs> 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 Pew. <laughs> Pew? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's more French. Okay, so Link, you're, you agree? Um, no, he agrees with me. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's, okay. Uh, it's real. Yeah, Let's see that, that was a mistake. Flat, but has a great personality. Yeah, have you, I mean, IHOP. Have you seen the pitch on their roofs? I mean, they are on the edge anyway. It's like... Well, they don't. They don't always do that. It's not always. It's not always that slanted. Peter, uh, you know what? One time, I found a twenty-dollar bill outside of an IHOP. I just wanted to add that this is not an ad for IHOP. I don't know if this happens to other people frequently, what? but did it was you a take good it day. In? Did I what? Did you take it in? Did I take it in? Did you do the IHOP? IHOP. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah. you take it into the IHOP? You know, I cannot the... um, yep. recall if I was on my way out or my way in. Mm-hmm. Did you keep it? Of course. <laughs> Excuse me. Did anyone drop this twenty dollars bill? Did you? What did you spend it on? What did you spend it on? Something <laughs> that you wouldn't have bought. Otherwise? I can't remember if I was coming in or out of the IHOP, but I do remember what I spent it on. Do you uh, think no. you're the type of person that all of a sudden you're like, you know what? I'm a I'm a buy twenty dollars worth of lottery tickets now. Or like, you know what? I'm gonna buy some flavored toothpicks. I'm gonna do something yeah, yeah, yeah. that I wouldn't otherwise do. That's a good. That's a good thought exercise. Or yeah. I'm gonna upgrade my my aluminum foil to be name brand. Yeah. If I found a twenty dollar bill outside of an IHOP, what I would do is I would go inside and I would hold it up, say nothing. I would find the person whose eyes connected with mine in the most compelling way. I would take it, I would walk up to their stack of pancakes, I would pick up the second pancake from the bottom, slide the dollars, the $20, into the stack, lower it, and walk out backwards while maintaining eye contact. Oh, wow. That's what I would do. That's what you would do? Yep. Oh, man, Um, you ruined their pancake. Those are all good ideas. The flavored tooth. They got 20 bucks. The brand name aluminum. Aluminium? The, 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 uh... The, the the bill in the stack. Peanut butter brand Jif was accused of misunderstanding the conversation around inclusivity after trying to debut a modern version of their Choosy Moms Choose Jif slogan that instead read, Choosy Individuals Choose Jif. Mm. Mm. Choosy Individuals, huh? They couldn't just go with Choosy Parents? Choose the individuals, choose Jif. And this is like getting on the the bandwagon of Because of choosy folks. Choosy people. Individuals. It could have been like they choose Jif. But then who's they? You kind of lose the choosy part. Oh. I mean if you're gonna Yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think, <laughs> you know, I really appreciate what you're trying to do. <laughs> do you know what I'm trying to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're trying to make it more inclusive, but in doing so, you've included people who aren't the per- people saying it. 
they choose Jeff, <laughs> not us. <laughs> no, that's what I was trying you, to do. You've included, I was trying to make it. You included everyone except the people saying the thing. Yeah, I was trying to make it less yeah. inclusive. Yeah. Less inclusive. Oh, well, uh, mission accomplished. The, those people. You used inclusive language to say something else. Those exclusive. people choose Jeff. I don't think this was real because I think they would have said parents. Yeah, I'm, well, you know what? I think they did this. Everybody was, everybody's trying. Um, it sounds like they would have done that. They didn't do that, though. It was fake, but they changed their slogan, I guess, from Choosy Moms Choose Jif to Every Bite Will Make You Smile. So they, I guess they recognized. I think that they were like, uh, let's just completely move past this thing instead of trying to make it more inclusive. Yeah. Huh. Good call. Um, we want to invite you to listen to our podcast on Mondays. Or we want to give you the option to watch in our podcast on Wednesdays. Yes. Or we want you to do both. We want you to listen to it on Mondays wherever you get your podcast. And then two days later, which is on Wednesday on our YouTube channel, Ear Biscuits, you can watch it to see if the meanings change when you look at us say the same thing. And one cool thing you can do, I have done this, is you can take uh, you can take the podcast and bring it up on your phone and put it on earbuds, but then watch the podcast on your laptop with the sound off and try to get them in sync. Right. That's um, a cool thing to try too. Right, right, right. It's, the, it's, it, it's, um, I just don't believe in what I was about to say. Yep. I'm you know, I don't like saying things I don't believe. I'm glad you backed out. Okay, Stevie, hit us with another. Susan Boyle's album party was advertised with the hashtag Susan Album Party. And you can picture that in your mind because it kind of looks like it says Sue's Anal Bum Party. <laughs> Susan's <laughs> Album Party. party yes. Yeah. Sue. Susan, yeah. Anal Sue bum. Anal. Mm. Anal bum? bum? Isn't that kind of, isn't that repetitive? Yeah. Anal bum party. Anal bum. Anal bum party. Oh man, I've got a pain in my anal bum. As opposed to, what What other bums are there? Yeah, another part of your body that's a bum? It sounds like an old English phrase. And then he, you know. Then I've he, been sitting on my what? anal bum <laughs> that's why this whole listening. time. I've been shitting on my anal bum. Uh, I think that this is real. Yeah, this is real. Yeah. Let's look real. at it. There it is. S <laughs> oh my gosh, it was a hashtag. Anal bum. <laughs> Sue's anal bum. No, it's sus anal bum. Sus anal bum. Sus anal bum party. <laughs> sus anal bum. This is bad. Party. Uh, and straight from the Susan Boyle HQ. So you know it was approved. <laughs> I mean, I gotta say, I think I would attend this sus anal bum party. I, if I'm gonna go to an anal bum party, I don't want it to be on the up and up. <laughs> it's gotta be a little sus. I want it to be a little bit shady. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing shadier than an anal bum. Uh, <laughs> it's the shadiest part of the body. <laughs> yeah, that's how they call it, the anal bum. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. It's the shadiest part of the anal. That's right. It's tough to get sun on it, too. I've tried. Ear Biscuits video now releases on Wednesdays, only two days after the audio, so you don't fall behind. Subscribe at youtube.com slash earbiscuits.